Yesterday I received a package from Lilygo. Sometimes they send me free products because I'm awesome and I have best bike in the village. This time the box was really big. It seems they really liked my bike. In this video I will show you a few new Lilygo boards and a few upgrade ones. This is not my usual format, usually I talk about one board or project for the whole video. But this time I will show you 8 boards and there is a reason for that. I noticed on their side that for example the T-Display S3 AMOLED can be bought in this shell version. I noticed the same for Lilygo T4. So I sent them a mail. Hello Lilygo, I love your shell versions, can you please send me one? It doesn't matter which one, I will make a speedometer and I will put it on my bike. And they send me all of these. And in this video I will show you these boards. I will also talk about Squareline Studio and I will share this awesome clock and calendar project. If you have Lilygo T4 you can upload this without any uh, IDE libraries or settings. I will also show you a few images of me and my bike. If you want to buy any of these boards you can find affiliate links in the description. Last year I informed you that my main goal is to become rich and buy a new car. And that plan is not going well. Here is my T-Display S3 AMOLED board. And I noticed that they have same board but in this plastic shell. I already show you a couple projects with this board. People are uh, always complaining how Lilygo boards are hard to install and mount somewhere. And I think this shell is good approach. Now it's I think it's easier you can Install this on any flat panel using these screws. GPIOs are still available here, a little different, but they are still available. And everything else is the same except now it really looks professional and cool. This seems to be some kind of of quality plastic this is not 3d printed this is molded plastic same stories with Lilygo s3 t4 now have shell version difference is that now these gpios are female but header pins are also included in package. In this video I will share this internet clock. What is cool about it, it is the fact that you don't need to put your SSID and password in the code, because I made this with Squareline Studio and Squareline Studio have, not Squareline Studio, LVGL have some cool built-in built-in controls which make life easier. For example, I can set up my Wi-Fi here. So here I can write my SSID, here I can write my password. Of course I can choose um, numbers and other non-alphanumeric letters and when I click save also I need to set my time zone remember that is very important and when I click save this will be stored in my EEPROM and I can click connect and set my clock calendar here I can set brightness yes it is uh, best TSP32 internet clock ever best best like my bike so in description you will find code in binary files and you will 
So basically you will download this bin file firmware file from you will find link in the description then you will visit this site you will connect your board to with USB cable you will connect your board you will put zero here flash address zero you will choose choose that bin file you downloaded and you will hit program so very easy without dealing with libraries and settings and IDs next board this is new board T encoder pro ESP32 S3 Liligo have also board with rotary encoder and what you have what you see here is not my example uh, this smartwatch example from Square Line Studio, new Square Line Studio, but Nick the Fix spent many hours to get this working on this new board. Thank you, Nick, for this. Now all of us can use this and play with it. And he also shared his code so you can download it modify it and this is really impressive this this is professional looking user inf interface you can find on smart watches remember display s3 long here it is also in shell version so Liligo is putting everything in shell very interesting you can find in description these projects so you can you can download my code and play with it. I also received this and uh, to be honest this board is something I was hoping to get one day. This is T panel so it is very large 480 by 480 and it is for I still don't get it all but it is Still, it is used for some industri industrial protocols and connectors. So we will check this later. Actually, there are two versions, and then they send me both. This is in this <laughs> shell version, and uh, this is version that can be mounted on panel. Shell, 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 shell. Bike, 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 bike. This is the, and here is a. Uh, smallest board I received but nice to push buttons on off GPIO pins turp for battery and touch screen I think now brightness will be brightness of, of this is so high Lily go when they ship their factory examples. Sometimes they forgot to lower brightness for so it is very hard to record this. But I will soon make my own example and lower the brightness. In the next videos uh, you will will get more details about this board. This is just like I still don't have many informations about these new boards. This is interesting. This is new board. Why is that interesting? Because I, I think this is still not on their site. And here is a box and on the box I couldn't find anything about this board. So 
obviously it is a little larger than AMOLED, smaller than long, but there was there wasn't any example on it. Nice GPIOs are here. But I find that here is here set pro. So so if you remember my T display S3 Pro, it is about the same size. So I tried to so I tried one sketch I made for this board and it worked. It is not completely same board because I noticed that that some sensor is not working. But I'm not completely sure about that. So we will see. And last thing I received is very interesting. And this will be very hard to record. This is tea glasses. So images shown is this in this prism. I will turn it on. Is it gonna be shown? Very nice. So, this is a really interesting and I already have a few ideas which I will not tell you right now, but this is very, <laughs> this is very, I, I feel like a special agent when wearing this or alien. I don't know. We'll see. Yes, and about Square Line Studio, I decided that we will use this board in our Square Line Studio. But every example I'm showing you for this board will also work on D4 because it is same library, AMOLED series, and um, code will automatically detect are we using this board or this board. I just need to make some preparations, but I will start with square line, square line, square line, square line studio tutorials next week. Thank you Liligo for sending me this. And yes, I'm planning to make that bike speedometer project because I got lots of requests for bike speedometers. So I need to learn to make it. Goodbye.